Today we are going to discuss a method to reduce retracts when cutting pockets with an open side. We have created a work zone with a Z-level finishing toolpath on an outside pocket with an open edge. Because the toolpath runs in a climb method, we get a retract at the end of each level to wrap it back to the beginning of the next level. We will create a new toolpath to help reduce these retracts. In the toolpath specific parameters, open the machining order menu. Here we see the standard settings for by zone and by level. There is an additional option, mixed. Click on mixed and click OK. Now, click on any of the icons in the Cutter Movements section to open the menu. Here we see the Minimum Retract Distance option. This field is used to define the minimum distance between retract points in a toolpath, much like a cut length distance. For our example, we need to know the length of the pocket we are trying to reduce retracts in. Let's use the measure tool to get the length of the pocket. Here we see that our pocket has a length of 90 millimeters. Close out the measure command and open the cutter movements menu. Enter the pocket length in the Minimum Retract Distance field, then click OK. Click OK on the toolpath parameters and execute the toolpath calculation. When we load the toolpath, we now see that the rapids are still there but without the high retracts. We also have the ability to control the retract speed. Open the toolpath parameters and open the cutter movements menu. Below the minimum retract distance field, there is a retract rate pull down. From there, you can select what rate you want the retract to move, either rapid, approach, or at the feed rate all of which are set up in the NC Machine Parameters menu. By changing the high retract to this new retract method, we have reduced the toolpath time to 3 minutes from 4 minutes in the original toolpath. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all the available work NC tech tips.